good afternoon. I was in the sun for five hours, and I loved it. That's just methylene blue. I take that uh, interesting stuff. Good for life extension. So, and the sun is too, by the way. So I don't believe everything you hear on Google. Uh, a lot of stuff is removed from Google because pharmaceutical companies don't like it. The sun is supposed to age you and all that stuff. It's actually the direct opposite a Russian report. I'm still trying to find it, but anyway. So free energy is the link. Link, look at the link. If you want interest in free energy, alternative energy. Look at the link, okay? Most free energy claims are just bogus, okay? The oldest free energy machine is the Oxford Bell, okay? Get that in your head. Um, what's, so the Oxford Bell, the oldest, Oh yeah, you can make a million of them and get power a house maybe with them. Everybody wants to power a house. It's totally insane and ridiculous. Anyway, free energy devices do exist. I got involved in it. I got involved in this uh, free energy stuff. Current researchers, by the way, you can trust Paul Mueller, inventor of three, Bob Greener, and some others. Previous Ken Shoulders, Thomas E. Bearden. T. Henry Morey, possibly. I still don't know. I mean, that's a lot of power that he created from long wire antennas, but I don't know. But it makes sense, because I received energy from long wire antennas, too. But not what he claimed. But anyway, I made a replica of his transistors a long time ago, and all that stuff got me involved. I got involved with the warships in 94, found all sorts of unique stuff supposed to be classified and it's in the sonar room of Saskatchewan. The other warships didn't seem to have those, but anyway. That's Columbia, Mackenzie, McCon uh, Columbia, Saskatchewan, and Yukon, the ones I worked on anyway. So, check the link. Uh, my uh, interest in it was out of curiosity, really, and then I was approached by a RIA trade business group made up of businessmen around the world, like from Be President of Bell Helicopters at the time. My contact was Joe, H-O-E, President, actually, and, um, oh, I don't know, what's his, what's his name? Uh, I shouldn't say that, but, what's his name, but, uh, got a brain fart. Got a brain fart. Alan Corral. British properties, British Columbia, Canada. So. They approached me, they were stuck with a fraudster, like this, most of the stuff you hear about is all fraud, by the way. They're caught by a fraudster who was using magnets and some other weird stuff. And they talked to me, how I met them, maybe, I don't know, actually, it's just, so many things happen in life, but anyway, Alan Corral and his team, I said, well, I can perhaps create one volt Amelia, non-moving part technology. I don't care if you take it or leave it. They took it, and I made it for them, and it worked. So they're going to get investors from China. That never happened. So my start was with that device. At the same time, George Hathaway and Hal Pudock came to pick up Alex Pizarro's possessions as he passed away. Okay. And... I, Hal Pudas stayed an extra day, actually, and we had fun with that thing. But he played with I gave, you know, George played it. You know, such a free energy machine, so what? Anyway, that led into um, client, other clients, because Alan Corral, the Rio Trade Group, couldn't find the Chinese investors that were going to put $24 million into it and produce it, but it never showed up. I went on to, okay, I met Mr. Yamabe of Japan. He wanted me to go to Japan and talk about the Hutchison effect. What did it do? It took samples there, and there was a duplicate lab of the Hutchison effect there. And year after that, it was the free energy stuff, and I took a power cell. Okay. That was my main investors, was the Japanese for a number of years. I made them. Again, follow the link. It shows them being tested by one of my partners, Grant Romund, and uh, others. 
then after that video on the same, don't just stop the video. There's a, another presentation for Canadian Broadcasting Company. So, okay. That was interesting. That's Chester Polenski at CBC. Oh, onward I go on to clients. Uh, so you might be just Japanese or clients for a number of years. The idea is to make them and then put them to manufacturing, but it never happened. Uh, it was a quarter of a million dollars. Then I met Thomas Messer from Germany, uh, from the Messer Gas Company, who uh, was a very interesting person. I've got videos of him, and we had a lot of fun together, and we made him a power unit as well. Then there was Richard Brewer from Tar Sands Canada Project who put 50000 in. I made him one, made us one, took it to Canadian Research and Development who tested it, but said we didn't know what to do with it. Okay, take it to the military. So, Richard had to return to the United Kingdom. I told this story before, by the way. I think I did. And uh, Thomas and Richard Brewer, others... So we made uh, and made a number of these things that were shipped uh, to Germany, to uh, Japan, and that. But none of them got it into being manufactured. So follow the link; you can see it in operation and being tested. The Kyoto Institute of Technology tested them for frequencies, which is eighteen point five kilocycles x-ray them and all that because it's the best way of doing something don't play secret squirrel it doesn't work it aired on TV and folks from Air Force contacted me and from the Navy contacted me and wanted one I don't know what happened there I don't remember following through on that I don't believe I made them one I don't know but I said you're most welcome to come by. And there was an con ex-congressman, Berkeley Bedell, showed up, and then Dennis Kucinich and all those folks showed up and uh, showed them these things. But again, its interest seems to be very sing single. And if you're into free energy, uh, don't fraud anybody, don't claim anything, don't claim the government got you and all that crap. It doesn't work. Pure fraud. If you got something, show it. Take it to your local media or take it to your local university and have them run tests. Don't let them make it all secret either. Doesn't work. <clears throat> if you got something bona fide, show it to the proper people. I mean, I was with the best there uh, some years ago with George Hathaway and Alex Pizarro, who encounter these fraudsters a lot and tell me the stories of how they frauded even Alan Corral got frauded by the Alexander motor which didn't work that was a long time ago wow so George Hathaway was there testing it just the whole thing just went up in the smoke I took one look at it and said it's just junk so uh, there's a lot of people on the internet are claiming all this stuff but remember they use a diathermy machine to make it wireless and what else they use? Hidden things and tricky things, so be careful. And there's a bunch of names. There's Dennis Lee, there's Paul Pantone, there's John Searle. I mean, all these guys are cro crooks and criminals, so, and as many others, too. And there's good guys who deserve a break, like Bob Greener and Inventor or Three or Paul who's got a unique device that could save a lot of energy. Wow. Wireless transmission of energy to these diodes. So anyway, so back to follow the link. Okay, see how we did it. It's quite interesting. And the best policy is give, if you got, can make a couple of them, give away one totally free somebody that can test it and have fun with it. 
I did that in Japan. I made small ones and gave them all away. The Japanese folks uh, didn't like that too much. They wanted to give me money, and they gave me handfuls of money, and I had the camera people around me from Mr. Hino, a J-O-G-M television. So I had these little display units. I said, uh, I did. I went to my um, host, Yamabi. I said, they were giving me money, and they're not worth anything, in my opinion. He says, oh, they do that because they like you. So that was um, free energy stuff I was involved with. Uh, my uh, partner who went with me was Dr. Brian O'Leary, who was very interesting when I was doing. Unfortunately, he passed away as well. So many people have passed away. It's just ridiculous. So I just wanted to put this link in this thing. I'll put uh, free energy link. Link, link, link in the title and description go check it out that's what somebody really wanted that and also I sent out some plans to somebody in Germany on how to make the wafers because I don't see myself making those things anymore or any other kind of devices or crystal power cells or those are the low powered units that kind of useless. Uh, Korean Customs examined my large units. I had Japan as well as U.S. Customs and Canadian Customs, so they x-rayed them and got copies of the x-rays somewhere too. <coughs> because I would take these things across the border down to Elaine Smith and Woodworks TV and I actually requested, a, you know, the x-ray. It won't hurt it. So that's, they said that's interesting. So I don't know where those x-rays are. I do have the Kyoto Institute of Technology x-rays for sure. In my files somewhere. Well, that being said, now I can go off, end this video, follow the link, and do a silly video. I got lots of sunlight today, so I can do a silly video, I think. And get away with it. I hope this is recording. Okay, I'm going to shut up now and do a silly video. A video. B-I-D-E-O. Okay.